Hello guys and welcome to replay analysis. In this game we have Joson and his uh, tier 7 French light tank, auto loading tank, of course you already know that. And he's in a platoon with uh, his friend which is in a, in a 110, a Chinese tier 8 heavy tank. Now Justin is gonna go where I'm rich hard, Justin is gonna go on the 9 line, try and get some early spots here. Pretty good spot, a pretty good push to get uh, nice spots here. Already spots are lowy. And to be honest, if I look right now on the oh IS on the left, IS spotted, IS, IS There we go. So if I look right now on the minimap, I can see that we have two tank destroyers on the zero line, but I think that's the What is that? That is the Hellcat and the E25, so not really strong uh, tank destroyers. You got them on the, on the K0 position, and we can see a SU-100 there. SU-100, what is he doing? I think SU-100. Oh, it's coming this way. T-150, so pretty much your friend in a, that is with you in a platoon right now is fighting the whole fucking enemy team, to be honest. And he should really back off and use the tank destroyers at K0 in his advantage. Oh, SU-100. So the SU-100 did push. You can really spot him. Oh, Cromwell quickly comes around. He's on your left. There you go. Trying to put shots into you. But unfortunately, this 110 will go down. Now Hellcat and E25 should really get the fuck out of there because they will get killed. They're really not tanks that they should actually take flank shots and stuff like that. Not really fight face to face heavy tanks. Justin is uh, doing a pretty smart thing. He's actually running away and he's gonna use distance and of course his uh, view range to his advantage. Now a good position to do that is at uh, F5. Now what you want to do right now is, well, the enemy team may have broken the zero nine zero line, so your team needs to do the same thing, break the one two line, break the other flank. But I think they will do that. There's a wheezy one eleven there solo, and an IS in the cap. I think your team can manage that. Oh, Lowy. Justin is putting really good shots in that over. Art is running away, E25 and Hellcat still in that position. So what you want to do right now is maybe uh, kill this IS and just trying to push. Well, I actually have two options. You can push forward, try and get that Arty out of the game. Try and get spots on that Borsig because there's, there is an enemy Borsig in the game. Or you can try and spot the pushing tanks. now. When you do spot pushing defensive tanks in defensive position is much harder than uh, uh, spotting and shooting tanks that are players that are pushing because usually players in random games players that are pushing are are pretty uh, well you know they go crazy they go yolo like this a lot. So this is a good opportunity to do a lot of damage here. Unfortunately the there's no one I actually to help you right here. Seems like your f the friendly team is not not doing a pretty good job, are they? Weezy one level still Weezy one eleven still on the two line. CDC on the one line. They're not coming here to help you with the shots. Love, love is a is kind of a dumbass to be honest. Now he got shot a couple of times. He's still pushing. And you take a shot from the Borsig, which is at C five position. Let's hope the friendly team helps you. And can take a look out. There we go. Really nice job. It's pretty funny that that E25 managed to get away all the way from the K0 position. Now he he camped there a long time, but still he managed to get away. That's pretty funny. E25, awesome tank. T21 camping in the back there. Getting spots for his team. Can I take him out? No silhouette though. And there we go. It actually works. And Justin, really nice blind shot here. T34, that shitty five. 
Good kill. We see 111 finally comes the, to the cap. And now, of course, it was much harder for the enemy team to push in this game because they decided to go on the zero line and your team got to the cap faster. So that means the, the enemy team needed to push towards the cap and that exposes them. Leaves them vulnerable. They're vulnerable, actually, the enemy team. Players when pushing usually are vulnerable. I6. Justin is engaging this I6. And you have to you have to pay attention a little bit when you're using our aim. There you go. You have to make sure the tank is not angled and he's when you're shooting at him, his armor is flat. When you're using our aim. It's not that hard. It's actually easy to do. I6 focusing on the Kromo. One is that he should be focusing on you to be honest. You're one shot. Pretty bad player this I6. But this thing can turn pretty fast and you're, <laughs> you're you have big problems right now. Let's see what the I6 I6 does. He just needs to press the button for auto aim. And he kinda missed. Apparently he was in sniper mode. And this was actually a pretty good game from you, Justin. Not that hard game to be honest. The enemy team did fuck up. I love a, a tier 8 heavy tank push like a dumbass exposes side armor to you. And the engagement with the I6 was pretty risky. Now he, if he was a better player, he would have shot you and killed you. But he focused on the Cromwell, which was two shot, and you were one shot, and you were doing the damage. So pretty bad play that I6. 1.3k XP, but uh, well, you were top XP, but uh, you have no premium account. So I'm guessing you would have done a lot more. Uh, you would have gotten a lot more experience. 3.3k damage, a lot of damage, the most damage in your team, and uh, well, you. Didn't, you don't have a premium account, so minus 21k, you would have gotten minus 5k with a 3k, I think, with a premium account as well. But thank you for the replay, and uh, well, hope to see, see other replays from you. Uh, good job, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next battles.